someone asked me how to take a picture that had yourself in it more than once like that uh, this is just a uh, basic really quick one that I've done just to make this video and it's called uh, multiple exposures or action shots or black magic whatever you, you want to call it uh, so basically what you want to do is you want to set your camera up, you want to get it on a tripod so that uh, your pictures don't move if that makes sense uh, when you're taking the different shots you want your camera to be in the same position so it's much easier to do uh, so once you get your pictures done you're going to open up photoshop you're going to go to scripts under the file no. Yeah. And we're going to load files into stack we're going to browse for the photos that you took so just highlight them all just use shift and click to highlight them all in one go and you're going to attempt to automatically align source images we make sure that's checked and then it'll just take a couple of seconds to put them all together it'll take much longer though as well if you're say if you're doing 10 pictures it'll you know it'll take a wee bit longer so once these are all in uh, there's another thing you might need to watch out for as well is um, because I was just using the light coming in from the window uh, it must have got a bit cloudy or something because uh, this image is a lot darker than that one so if you can just make sure that your light stays the same then it'll that'll be alright but this can be fixed it's okay ok so what we're going to do is highlight our second layer the, the bottom one's fine that can just stay there uh, hide this one so you can't see your top layer just click the eyeball and um, we're going to make a mask you could do this with uh, an eraser but uh, it's not as nice just going to get your mask out make sure your brushes uh, are black and white colours as default uh, you can if you'd like can uh, put the opacity of your middle layer down just so you can see what you need to brush in I'm just going to do this pretty quickly it's not going to be a work of art or anything but you know, it's just to show you how to do it you do need to be careful around these bits because um, let's see if I go too much you know, there you go, there's, you're missing an arm all you need to do is hit X or this wee two wee arrows here that will swap your default colour around just brush this back in with the white X to change it back to black there you go so uh, if you use the close bracket that will make your brush a bit bigger as well just do it quicker I see here the, this couch um, pillow moved when I sat here so in the two pictures it's in a different position but you know yeah, that's pretty easy to fix it's going to put the opacity back up well, you can see there's a wee bit in my head that's still not in properly oh, I look so focused that's not a good model what can I say and now that that's done, you see this bit's really dark, but that's fine. Once we open this in, we're gonna go up to the top layer and make another mask for it. And this one's a lot easier to do. Just clip your brush again, make a fairly big brush size, and that's it. That's how you do that. That's not perfect. This couch. Uh, that's fine, that doesn't look too bad. So once you've got the this done, this you essentially finished the you just want to do some finishing touches to it. There's if you have your top layer equipped, hold shift, click on the bottom one, that'll highlight them all. Right click on it and merge the layers together. Then control and J to duplicate it. That means if you're doing any modifications or you mess it up, you can 
just uh, you know delete that when you get your base one back. So I'm going to go to adjustments, change the levels on it because it is a wee bit dark. Just uh, bring them up a wee bit. You can see my lovely floor that needs decorating badly. Uh, we're going to get some curves because uh, yeah, I don't know it makes it look a bit nicer. Just a uh, little adjustment here and here. So I don't know. Just do it. Now, there's another wee trick as well to sharpen the image up a little bit. Uh, if you duplicate that layer again, what you do is go to Filter, Other, and High Pass. Now you're just going to want this so you can just see. I can't really. Yeah, just so you can uh, almost just make out the outlines of the image, not much of the texture that's in it. That's fine. And you're going to change the blending mode to overlay and that makes it a lot sharper. If you just, uh, I hate this zoom on CS5. See if I hide that, you can see it just kind of, you know, sharpens up a wee bit. Makes it look a bit nicer. Ah, so once once that's all done, just merge your layers again, save it, and that's you got the picture with you in it more than once. Magic. <laughs>